Welcome back to the ONC Painter YouTube channel. In today's video, we're gonna be working on this wickedly cool 2023 Lamborghini Urus Performante, and it's gonna get some love from the ONC Painter as well as Vlad. He's gonna do a body kit and install some new goodies. First thing you notice is we got no hood on this thing, which, you know what? I don't mind it, because this engine bay looks super clean and love the carbon fiber. But uh, this thing is gonna get a fresh new hood. It's gonna be carbon fiber with some scoops. So I'll show you guys how I go about painting the hood, how I mask it, how I make sure I have my crisp lines uh from the carbon and the painted parts and then i'll clear everything all together and it should look very very nice we're not gonna leave the hood all carbon what you see i already prepped most of the hood here which is all gonna be painted so everything that i prepped so far we're gonna paint it body color and we're just gonna leave these two scoops carbon fiber to match the rest of the carbon on the car if you noticed we got some super wide wheels on this car and that's because we're gonna actually install a wide body kit on this as well you can see how much wider it's gonna be like another three inches but uh this kit's pretty sweet i already painted it i have a link for the video down in the description. It came out super clean. As you can see, we got a nice crisp line on these. Like I said, I'll post the link down in the description for me painting all these flares. Uh, in this video, we're just gonna take care of the hood, mask it up, paint it, unmask everything, and clear the entire panel so then that way we don't have any seams. Brand new, beautiful purple uh, pearl paint job on this thing. It actually changes from like blue to purple if you notice as you walk around yeah, it's got some gnarly pearl in this where it does the color shift so yeah look at that this looks blue that looks purple and as you walk around it shifts colors i'm going to continue my prep work on the hood we prepped the painted areas with 600 grit da and then i'm going to go over the carbon that's going to be just clear coated with a thousand grit and uh, we'll clean it up get in the spray booth and start spraying so my hood is cleaned up I got it in the spray booth and before we mask anything we have to mask the underneath so obviously the whole hood is carbon fiber inside it's carbon fiber and we don't want to get any overspray on this carbon because we're gonna leave it so I'm gonna mask it along the line mask these scoops that way our inside remains clean mask it all up flip it over and then we'll work on masking the carbon fiber scoop. All 
right time to mask off the carbon and usually I mask it on the outer line the customer wanted it done on the inside line so we'll have a little more of the painted section but we're gonna mask it up on the inner line and we're just gonna take it all the way back Check it out, we got the everything masked up, ready to go. Everything's looking clean. If you noticed how I did it, first before putting the paper on the inside, I ran the fine line tape all the way across where my line would be. That way I know for sure my lines are even, they're right in the crease, and uh, the paper doesn't get in the way because you can truly see when you just do the fine lines, you have a thin strip running across. If they're straight, if they're even, if they're in the crease. If I did it where I would mask up the inside and then try and mask it, I wouldn't, it wouldn't be as accurate. So, so the way I do it is I'll, I'll run a line without putting the paper so then I can see exactly it's even and straight and then I'll run another line on the outside of it so then I can use that as a guide later after I mask up the inside. I use the guide line, tape it once again, remove the guide line, and there we have it. This is where we're at. I got my proper sealer mixed up. We're gonna apply our sealer. I'm gonna be sure not to go too heavy around my uh, masked lines. That way the sealer doesn't penetrate underneath and we still have that crisp line. So I'll keep it right around the fine line and the paper everywhere else. I'll just apply it as normal. This coat is mixed up, my sealer is dry, so we're ready to paint. And uh, this is what it's looking like. Almost looks blue and purple at some angles. And of course, I'll be using my Segago 4600 Extreme Digital. It's a 1.3 DVR Aqua Cap to spray my base coat. It's gonna lay it out nice and evenly, has a nice wide fan pattern and uh, just excellent application. Has the gauge built into the gun and the uh, adjuster right here on this knob. So very, very slick and convenient.
check it out. Our hood is based up and it's completely dry. Looking nice. Man, I just love this color shift on these uh, pearl metallics. The switch between the blue and the purple looks insane. But for the most part, everything's looking good. We're ready to unmask the carbon fiber areas. Hoping for a nice crisp line going around the carbon fiber. We're gonna unwrap everything, clear coat everything all together, tie it all in, and we should be golden. Let's unmask it and see what it looks like. So this is going to be the flare that we painted in part one. This thing is going to be sitting something like this. So you can see that the wheels are going to sit flush once these bad boys are installed. The paint looks good, color matches good, and yeah, it's going to be beautiful. So look at that, with the flare, without. Super excited to have this car be all done. We're gonna end the video here. We got the hood painted, installed, and it's looking good. All the gaps are lined up perfectly. The color matches on point. All that's left to do is just finish with the body kit, get it detailed, and off it goes. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up, comment below if you like the video. Also, if you're new to the channel and you like this kind of content, don't forget to subscribe. And be sure to catch part three. In part three, we're gonna install the body kit, detail the car, and deliver it to the customer. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one.